Hi. So, a lot has happened recently with my Kraken Duck videos. From being featured on the hot page of Nygag after 10 minutes of being uploaded, being uploaded without my consent to a PewDiePie subreddit thing, heck, even PewDiePie reacting to my Kraken Duck video thing, and me making a cheesecake on a Sunday. Yeah. So, in this video, I'm hoping to explain how I got to making random duck Kraken nightmare videos. My name is but most people call me Obi-Wan on the internet. I'm obsessed with 3D graphics and the latest tech in the industry. The Duck series is basically just me testing the latest features in Blender, experimenting with new techniques, having fun, and giving people nightmares over the internet. I remember the first duck video I made. It was a giant duck burning with volumetric flames falling through the sky. EB was quite a new thing at the time. Heck, Blender 2.8 was a buggy mess but I was totally sold on the idea of real-time volumetric rendering. Fast forward, I wanted to do large-scale destruction in Blender. By smashing trees and displacing dirt, I should have gave up at that point and just go with Houdini for that. Blender's cell fracture add-on is nice for breaking things, but it's utterly sh**. For next test showcase thing, I repeated what I've learned over the previous two experiments, and that's where things really took off. I made a giant kraken falling from space, entering the atmosphere, absolutely demolishing a forest, and deflating right before it touches a little awkward bunny with a bad hair day. After that, I felt quite satisfied. Time to end this duck obsession and work on other things. <laughs> no. I did a small freelance thing for a person with a hat. He wanted to do cool wave things, and somehow it involved a giant robot arm thing. I found a free public domain model for it. Did the job. After I was done with that project, I was pretty satisfied with the rig I made for that robot arm. So naturally I attached a duck to it and made two more robot arms as a weird spider body. Hey, and I've successfully created a dream nightmare fuel thing. It was at this time the EV engine got real good looking motion blur. I had to try it out. Some projection mapping, baked the lighting, added some realistic lighting, and boom! Nightmare fuel complete! The second test was a projection mapped parking lot with as close to real plate lighting as possible. I'd like to think it came out alright. Then the other one was RTX on. And finally, I wanted to combine all of those things I've learned into one mega video. From destroying buildings properly, testing out the new Manta Flow smoke engine, complaining about Kid Bash 3D's poor understanding of Blender materials, and the never make proper glass shaders. Valve, please fix. Making the New York scene took me a day, doing the simulations and animations took me four days. After that, rendering the whole scene was a nightmare, so I had to dip the resolution down to 720p and render it over the CPU. Sorry Nvidia, you're still no match for your volumetric rendering. Sad face. After two weeks of nighttime renderage, it was finally done. And oh boy were there so many artifacts. Like this rock smashing the cameraman, flat in the face. After some light compositing and zooming a lot of past with bad 3D things, it's finally done to hand it over to Tim, the sound guy. What's that? Your robot duck is terrorizing the city, but you can't hear it? So the first thing we want to do is lay down some ambience. We want to build the space that we're in a little bit, you know, some cities, police cars, just so that we have a base layer to build everything else on top of. Then we're going to take sounds from printers and nail guns and pneumatic and hydraulic devices, and we're going to mesh them together so that we create a kind of robotic collage that we can use for our big duck spider thing. We're also gonna use different effects like pitch modulation to kind of highlight the motion a little bit more, make it sound a bit more robotic. Then just a whole bunch of destruction sounds like we can create different one shots from earthquakes and rubble and explosions and all sorts of destructive sounds. There was a request made to have a police officer scream, release the quacken. So this is Joel, he's an actor, and Joel is going to be our police officer. <laughs> Release the Kraken! The Kraken is extended a little bit. The Kraken! Yeah, 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 let's try Release the Kraken! Release the Kraken! <laughs> yeah? That was beautiful. <laughs> I know your mom's probably like, oh, <laughs> that's Tim's weird friend, yeah. <laughs> then we just layer that in, we add some <laughs> reverb to everything because it's a big city, and boom, we have robotic ducks terrorizing the city. So exciting. And now, back to Obi with the weather. Thanks, Tim. So to catch up to today, the video went viral. I uploaded an early cut to 9gag, took a nap, and the next day I was 
totally shooketh. So it was on a hard page of 9gag and had so many lovely comments and a boatload of salty ones too. I was genuinely happy. Later the same day I started getting discord messages, people saying my duck video on reddit looks really cool. But thing is, I didn't upload it. Some random person just re-uploaded my 9gag video to a PewDiePie subreddit and somehow it already had like 33,000 upvotes. I was mad furious, not, not because of the upvotes, just no credit was given. But thanks to moderators and friends on Discord, we made sure the right thing was done. Also, the uploader did apologize and all got sorted out. The post is still up, but I'm fine with it. Skip till a day later on a live stream I did, I was told, yo, dude, your video is on a PewDiePie thing. I was shook of. After the stream, I cried a bit, phoned Tim, and we both were shaking. We somehow made a successful, funny internet thing, and that generally made us happy. And hope you found this entertaining, because we sure did.